Hi. Now, before we do part B here, just to remind you that in the first part of this question, if you watch the video for it, we established that the value of mu was 210 to three significant figures. So in this question, we've now got to go on and find the percentage of tins that contain more than 225 grams of beans for three marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment then to pause the video. And when you come back, you might want to fast forward to the answer or just take your time and I'll take you through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, the first thing I'd want to do is update the random variable that I had in the first part. That was x. We said let x be the random variable. Just put RV for short. And that was the weight that we had for the beans in grams. So weight in grams. And we now know that x is distributed normally with a mean of 210 and the variance was 7.8 squared. In other words, the standard deviation squared. So next, let's draw up our normal distributions. Remember I told you to try and draw your two distributions one above the other. One for the random variable x and the other is the standardized normal distribution. So we can update this one here with the new mean which is 210. And we've now got to find the percentage of tins that contain more than 225 grams of beans. So 225, let's just put it say over here on the right and label that as our observed value x which is 225. And that percentage, well, first of all, we're going to work out this probability of being more than 225 grams. And so what we need to do is think of what the corresponding Z value is for this observed value. And I'm going to call it Z1. Remember, again, that to get any Z value from any observed value, you, we get it from this formula, z equals x minus mu over sigma. So we need to work out z1 here, and z1 will equal the observed value then of 225, 225, minus the mean, 210, and divide it by the standard deviation, which is 7.8. And if you work this out, you end up with 1.923 and so on. Remember, this is telling us how many standard deviations this value, 225, is above the mean. It's just over 1.9 standard deviations then above the mean. And this probability is given by this area here, which is the same as working out this area here. So let's just come down here and try and work that probability out. The probability then of the random variable x, that is the weight in grams, being greater than 225 grams. And that's going to be exactly the same then as working out the probability that z is greater than z1. Okay. Now, we need tables to work this out, and they would be the commutative normal distribution tables, okay, where the tables give us the probability of being less than a value of z. But the value of z that we must take must be on the right of the zero here. And we've got that here, but it will give us this area back here. So being more than Z1 is exactly the same as 1, 1 being all the probability, all the area if you like. It would be 1 minus the probability of Z being less than Z1. And from these tables here, my value for Z was 1.923. And the value that is 
closest to that is going to have to be this one here just when z is 1.92 so I'm going to use this value here and it's telling me that the probability of being less than 1.92 standard deviations above the mean is 0.9726 so this is going to be equal to 1 minus 0.9726 and that comes to 0.0274. But remember, we had to give this as a percentage, find the percentage of tins, okay, that contain more than 225 grams. So as a percentage, this is equal to 2.7% to, say, two significant figures, 2SF. Okay, so that's been able to give you some idea how to tackle that if it caused you any problem.